Spencer, just a uh, roller coaster game for you, but just sort of take us through what you were, the emotions going through you for that final drive, knowing that you had 339 and a chance to come out with the win. Yeah, it was a great opportunity, you know, for us to fight through something again and, and come out with a win. You know, we're happy being four and zero, but we're not happy. We're not we're not satisfied with the way you know we're we're winning. But a win is a win. Um, you know, I, personally, I thought uh, you know that last drive, it, you know, showed maturity. Last year, you know, a lot a lot of things could have happened uh, during that drive during that situation. But um, you know, this year we we found a couple drives like that and 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 have uh, converted them to win the game. You said you know things have to get better. Is it frustrating that you're still having these little mistakes here and there that isn't allowing you guys to be all on the same page? Yeah. Go to uh, Eric Bailey next. Uh, Spencer, congratulations. I wanted to ask you about Gabe's final field goal. Just how important was it setting him up in the middle of the field? And also, at what point did you say, okay, we got the distance now. Let's just get him closer. Uh, yeah, Gabe played a great game. You know, he always comes through for us. Uh, we trust him a lot, and, you know, we set him up to kick the winner, and that's what he did. You know, I, I, we're all confident in him, and he's a, he's a great kicker. I wanted to ask about Mike Woods also, just his performance and what he was able to do tonight. Yeah, he played a great game along along with other guys as well. You know, he played a great game. Or I thought Eric Gray played a great game. Um, you know, he had a few guys that, that played very well, um, other than a slight few mistakes. But... Um, you know, those can be fixed. Last question. Just want to ask you, how important is it just to ignore the noise in the stadium when things may not be going, going well and just focus on doing your job and going playing football? Yeah, I mean, we kind of just lock in on what we got to lock in on. I don't really, like, you know, know what I, – I don't care, like, what they yeah. are saying. or We don't care. We don't – We don't. it doesn't matter to us. Yeah. We're, we're out here to win a game. They're in the stands. And we appreciate, Spencer, I appreciate it, man. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> okay, have a good weekend, man. Thanks. Go to Cliff Brunt, AP. Yeah, I was just going to follow up on that a little bit, but you, you kind of answered it. Just you, you say it doesn't affect you, but do you hear it? I mean, do you have to block it out? Or, I mean, are you just locked in? I mean, you, we all heard it. I mean, how do you deal with that? In the moment, you just got to deal with it. I I really don't know why they were doing it, but I mean, go to uh, Parker Thune. Yeah, Spencer. You know, inevitably, there's going to be a lot of talk this week, despite the fact that you guys are four zero. That oh, this team isn't beating teams the way that they should. But I, what does it say about this team and their resilience that you guys were able to? stop their offense for most most the entire game on the defensive side and then come up with a game winning drive there when you guys needed it. Yeah, I think it shows a lot of our um just character in a game like that. You know, we we've had a couple tough games going back and forth with these teams and it's 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 great. You know, it's a blessing to play with a great defense. Um who's gonna get you the ball back and, you know, we need to of course convert these drives more, especially in the red zone. I mean, we're, we're very close. Um, it, it, it'll come together, but I think these situations are, you know, going to help us in the long run, which is which is positive. It might not seem positive right now, um, but it'll help us in the long run. And you know, at the, last year we were sitting one and two, you know, two and two. Now we're four and zero. Um, we're going to keep rolling. We're going to keep trying to win games no matter what we have to do. Go to Chandler Engelbrecht. Hey Spencer, we kind of want to follow up on what Parker just asked. Obviously, this was a battle all night between you and that Mountaineer defense. What was West Virginia doing to make this matchup so competitive when both of those units were on the field? Uh, yeah, their their D line was a solid group. You know, they were flying around, doing a lot of twists, a lot of stunts, and uh, you know, for, for a majority of the night, we handled it well. But um, you know, that's something we wanted to, you know, kind of be better against, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Uh, they threw a couple of new looks against us, and we just got to just gotta go against them and, and convert them. When, when you and, obviously, Lincoln Riley would meet on the sidelines, and he, it looked like multiple times he kind of got the entire offense around him. What was the message there, and how did that help you guys improve the game went on? The message was just to trust it. Um, you know, we, we were right there. We were just shooting ourselves in the foot. I, uh, 
on the on the interception, the turnover, we had a communication error. Uh, we were supposed to run a post on the outside. Instead, we ran a curl. Therefore, that let the corner, you know, drop off and make a play. Um, you know, we just small little things like that. You know, things that may not catch your guys' eye, but you know, things we need to work on. Thanks, man. Got time for a couple more. We'll go to Austin Pratt for one, and then back to Eric Bailey for one final question. Austin. Hey, Spencer. Uh, just wanted to ask you what you thought of the defense's performance tonight. It was great. You know, they always they always come through for us. Um, especially, you know, these first four games, they play really well and uh, bring a lot of energy, and we need to do that on the offensive side too. How much trust do you have in them to get stops as the game goes on? A lot of trust. Heard some uh, third downs, quite a few third downs there. Go to Eric Bailey for one final question. Eric? Spencer, you mentioned last year. Uh, do you just see your growth? I mean, last year you were put in those situations where you needed to score. This year you were 6-6, six of six, 54 yards on that last drive. Can you just kind of measure your growth by just seeing this is the quarterback and I am this year, the mature quarterback, compared to last year? Uh, yeah, you know. In those situations, I feel like I have improved, yes. Um, that comes with a lot of practice with my guys and trusting trusting what they're going to do as well. Um, but, you know, maturity-wise, that's about it. Um, I, I want to play better, obviously. Everybody wants to play better. Um, but there's not just one single thing we could call out. I mean, it's just we, we, we all got to be better, players, coaches, everything.